What's the deal? It's your boy Original back with another one for y'all. Check this out. We got another video to react to. Joe Rogan talking about the crazy stuff they finding in the Amazon, man. Now, I watch the Joe Rogan experience. I like watching the clips from his interviews. And, um, you know, I'm into, you know, the indigenous culture, like how we started on this planet, man. So, we got Joe Rogan talking about the stuff they find in Amazon, man. It looked like they doing a 3D scan, you know, over the whole shit. But we about to um, see exactly what they talking about. Stick around to the end. It's your boy, Yon World. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. Hey, wait, that's, this This reminds me of, you tell, when you talk about that island, that private island, you yes. know, Sentinel, Sen, Sentinel, North Sentinel Island. Sentinel Island. North Sentinel Island? Yeah. Planes still fly over that, or no? Are they not allowed to well, fly over that? Is it restrict restricted airspace? I don't think it's restricted. No, but you can't land there, and you can't circle. Right. You can't visit. India owns it, right? Doesn't the doesn't India control it? So. Yeah, and it's like ten mile radius. Mm -hmm. I saw a thing online that said a boat crashed there, and you could still see on Google Images the remnants of the boat. Yeah, they came for the people in the boat too, and the helicopter. I've just got them off the boat right as the people were like pulling up and oh, so they lived. rafts and shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, they, they live, but those the villagers were coming for them. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine stumbling been, across a village? They've been fucked with sometime in the past. You know, that uh, Commander Maurice Vidal Portman, yeah. that guy. Yeah. Shout out, out to uh, Respectable Law on uh, Twitter. He has a, uh, a giant thread about it. It may be pinned on the top of his Twitter page, but explaining, uh, uh, like, one of the reasons why those people are so hostile. Right. And it has to do with this British explorer who was really kinky, and, uh... uh he went there to fuck. Yeah, who knows he what he fuck did. Island. Who yeah. knows what he did. But see, and this is what I'm talking about, bro. They talk about this British explorer, right? It's this... Basically, it's this remote island in the Amazon, right? They obviously protecting their ancient treasure, their ancient culture, right? And these motherfuckers trying to go over there and colonize it, right? And he talking about motherfuckers getting kinky. So this this is what all of this. I just want y'all to pay attention to this, bro. All of that homo that shit was never a part of us, right? The original image of the black. Man was the black man, the woman, and child. You know, the original trinity, right? You know, the black man, the woman, and the child, right? We was never on none of that. We was never on that, bro. It was the people who colonized us, bro, and they gave us all of these false identification, these false idols, bro. You know what I'm saying? That one little line, you could just... That one little line that should tell you a lot, you know what I'm saying, about the oppressors. But let's keep it going. But people got sick because of, you know, this. I had this guy, Graham Hancock, on. Yeah. And he was talking to me about um, uh, all the different shit that they're finding in the Amazon and in South America. And that there used to be 20 million people that lived in the Amazon and they died off because of sickness. They were visited mostly, like, apparently Europeans when they came in like the 1500s, they would tell these incredible stories about these huge civilizations in the Amazon. But then when explorers came back 200 years later, there was nothing there. And they were like, this is crazy. They, they lied. They must have lied. But it turns out they didn't lie. What happened was smallpox ran through the fucking jungle and White killed people. everybody. We did it. And then these... You heard, you hear cuz in the back? Like, we did it. Like, pay attention, bro. I remember I was watching this documentary about this indus this indigenous culture. I believe it was like off one of the coasts of Hawaii, right? And they was talking about when, you know, the the white man first came to their island, right? And he started giving them like fake sugars and all of this all of this food that killed them. Right, they was out of their diet. They ate all natural shit from the earth. You know, they land is resourceful. It's a lot of land, you know, in um, these other countries, right, that shit grow out of the land. You can literally live off the land, like food-wise, you know, building-wise, all that shit. So, 
these people they have a certain diet, you know, and, and then when they introduce to this foreign these foreigners, they bringing over diseases, smallpox, and you know what I'm saying, wiping out populations, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us black people we ain't even supposed to be up north. You know what I'm saying? We go through um, seasonal depression because we not in our natural our natural climate. You know what I'm saying? But we still survive throughout that. But I'm just saying like earlier cultures, right? You know, when they was when they was first visited, right? That's like they had their own bubble. And then this disease come in, you know, and it wipe them all out because they not, they not, they wasn't around that stuff. They wasn't, you know what I'm saying? The jungle just overtook these cities and now they're finding these cities with something called LIDAR. They use these planes and they circle over this area or helicopters, whatever the fuck they do, and they shoot this shit down, this LIDAR. It's like laser. Yeah, he basically talking about a laser scan of the whole bitch. Like they use this technology um within ancient Egypt now and they can scan like they they were scanned in like pyramids that's how they know it's like rooms and shit in in this pyramid in a pyramidal structure that they haven't even got to yet it's chambers and shit they haven't even got to but they use that same technology to scan like a lot of ancient sites and a lot of ancient locations you know to get the real picture behind what's going on radar and it gives you a detailed image of what's below the surface and what's Holy there shit. and it shows them all these crazy structures all these like uh like roadways and irrigation systems and circles inside of a square like it was villages and cities and millions of people probably lived there Fuck. And look at it that's all stuff they're finding now. what yeah and all of it was swallowed up by the jungle mm. i think within like a hundred years it just vanished in the jungle because wow. it's so so lush and tropical down there Dude, it was the, one of the most amazing podcasts I've ever done. To listen to I gotta that find and that. tell the story. Right. I know who Graham Hancock is. You know, he did a lot of, he do a lot of truth research. You know what I'm saying? If you want to know the truth, you got to, you know, tap in with people like Graham Hancock. But, um, you know the truth, you know. Also, like, Bruce Lipton. Um, it's a lot of different people. I, it's just hard to name everybody off the top, but... A lot of these researchers have figured it out, right? A lot of a lot of researchers have figured it out, and they're unconventional. They're not like you know um, the ones plastered up on the walls. They like they've done a, a lot of their own research and um, study for you know decades. And it's a lot of um, a lot of a lot of them. I'm going to try to react to on this channel so just so y'all can get an understanding of the things I've been exposed to why I think the way I think and like why I'm interested in um the truth and just knowing like what's really going on out here after this one though no you are the best you're the best <laughs> uh, this is kind of well this is like a this is like the findings of Atlantis right like when they started finding you start finding more and more land under you seen this they found traces of five drugs including dimethyltryptamine on a thousand year old South American ritual kit. DMT, so, baby. So that's like mm. proof positive um, evidence that at least 1,000 years ago they were using ayahuasca. So, like, what are you talking about DMT, right? DMT is a substance found within our pineal gland, right? And anytime, like, if you ever had a dream if you ever had a dream at night, your brain produced DMT, right? We go through a process of every day, you know, when we build our energy. We get serotonin from the sunlight, right? At night, when it gets dark, it creates melatonin, right? And then we create this shit called DMT. Like, if you go into a deeper sleep of your brain produce enough melatonin if you can reduce the the amount of light you intake at night your brain will produce enough melatonin right and then you will have um that transfer into dmt right and this is a substance that's found naturally within plants it's found naturally like all throughout earth right in um different in different plants and it's also found within the human body Right, it's a uh, it's a it's a life chemical, right? That once 
once it crosses the blood barrier within the pineal gland, you begin to have visions. You begin to have these enlightened experiences. And I truly believe, like, the ancient people on Earth, they was using this stuff. And as you can see, like, it was found, you know, the remains was found on a ritual artifact. You know what I'm saying? Or, or like, a ceremonial artifact, right? So they was using this to connect, right? If you, when you wonder, like, how these um, advanced, these ancient advanced civil civilizations was built, man. Like, of course, humans did the work, right? But they tapped in, like, to a higher source to get the information, right? You can do this too, but that's another video. Wow, this was the drug pouch that was made from fox snouts. That's yeah. so crazy. Fox like, nose. It literally looks, when you see it, it looks like a nose. Whoa. <coughs> they used everything. And the fur is so intact. It looks really nice. A nose. I wonder why they do that with a fox. It's probably like some cleverness. Do you know that that's what a shaman, that's like literally what a shaman is supposed to, that's what the, the, the definition is supposed to be in certain cultures? Huh. Certain, certain cultures, it's a clever fellow. That's who the, sh the shaman is. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. They are just clever fellows. But I mean, imagine that. Like, he takes a fox, that clever little fucker. I'm going to take his face. <laughs> I want and his hide fucking my face. my drugs in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Only a person would think to do something so creepy. I hide my drugs in his face. Or an insect. Chipmunk cheeks. Yeah, right? <laughs> that would be the good move. Cool. Yeah, a, a little pouch. Sugar oh, pouches. That hangs from your belt. It's just chipmunk cheeks with all your coins in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So that was Joe Rogan. Um, Crazy stuff they find in the Amazon, man.